the Raiders are seven and eight, but they actually have an opportunity to make it into the playoffs. They still do, and it's wild. It's one of my favorite storylines we get to track and follow going into this weekend. Uh, there are five things that need to happen in order for the Oakland Raiders, for the last time that ever, the Oakland Raiders, that the Raiders can make it into the playoffs. There are five things that have to happen. Number one, the Raiders need to win. They're going to play the Broncos in Denver. That's you know that's not easy. It's a possible game you can win, but it's not easy. So at first, the Raiders got to win. Number two, the Raiders need the Titans to lose against the uh, excuse me the tight the they need the Titans to lose against the Houston Texans. That's number two. Number three, the Raiders need the Steelers to lose to the Ravens. They need, number four, the Jaguars to lose to the Colts. And then, number five, the Raiders need to beat the Steelers on strength of victory. What the heck is strength of victory? I had to look it up. I figured it out. Uh, It means that if you add up the winning percentages of all the teams you beat, uh, then whatever team has, you, you play these eight teams, we play these eight teams, whatever teams you beat have a higher winning percentage, that is the strength a victory calculation. It's what they do when they have no other way to do it. You're like, you won this many games and you're in a so similar here, here, here. It would mean that the Raiders had a, in theory, tougher schedule. They beat better opponents than the Steelers did, even though they have the same record at the end of the year. And in order for all that to happen, in order for the Raiders to end up with a stronger strength of schedule or strength of victory against the Steelers, the Raiders just need one of the following teams to either win or tie. If the Bears or the Lions, or the Chargers, or the Patriots, if one of those four teams win or tie, then it, the Raiders win the strength of victory claim against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the only way that the Raiders don't win the strength of victory thing is if all four of those teams, the Bears, the Lions, the Chargers, or the Patriots, if they all lose, then the Raiders can't make it into the playoffs. It's not possible. So in all, you know, wow, a lot of things need to happen. It's actually all things that could actually potentially really happen. The Raiders are have a, I think, a high percentage, not a high is not the right word, but a, a very possible chance to get into the playoffs. Again, the Raiders need to win and beat the Broncos. They need the Texans to beat the Titans. They need the Ravens to beat the Steelers. They need the Colts to beat the Jaguars. And then they need at least one of those four teams to win or tie, the Bears, the Lions, the Chargers, or the Patriots. That is how... The Raiders can make it into the playoffs. That makes me so excited. It's going to be so fun to follow that and watch that. And if you're sitting at home this weekend on, on your phone, just scroll like, oh, the, uh, the Jaguars lost to the Colts. That's one of the, one of the five things that needed to happen. Oh, uh, the Ravens beat the Steelers. That's another thing. You can just track that storyline. It'll be really fun. And I don't know. Will the Raiders make it into the playoffs? I think that'd be wild. It'd be certainly really cool for John Gruden, that quarterback, you know, that coach who got a 10-year contract, $100 million, and people are like, you're insane, he can't coach to make it into the playoffs this way. This early into his stint with the Raiders would be really, really cool, especially given the expectations people had going into the season. So, um, man, I'm going to root for the Raiders. I'd love to see them make the playoffs. That'd be just fun and wild and chaotic. And so uh, if you're at home this weekend, track that storyline. Will the Raiders make it into the playoffs?